Now, that's in part why uh, the government created the Paul Yutzik Award last year, in order to recognize exceptional groups and individuals who have demonstrated excellence in promoting the multiculturalism and diversity which characterize our society and are a source of pride for Canadians. This year's recipient, Mr. Paul Wynne, was selected from a total of 88 nominations received from across Canada for his commitment to improving race relations and promoting multicultural understanding in Canada. Nominated in the Outstanding Achievement category, Mr. Wynne uses the power of the internet to promote unity and diversity among Canadians of various backgrounds. He is perhaps best known for creating the inspirational website janefinch.com, an online portal that has become a helpful means of expression for youth and other residents in the community. Through filmmaking and social media, he has spoken out on topics such as youth crime and gang violence, and he has cultivated civic engagement among young people. He's been a tireless advocate for greater understanding between cultures, particularly within his Toronto community of Jane and Finch, which we all know uh, faces particular challenges, but is also filled with many bright young people of great promise who simply need an equal shot in our society. His principled work and an inspiration to all Can is an inspiration to all Canadians, and it's a further step towards the building of an inclusive country characterized by intercultural understanding and social cohesion. On behalf of the Government of Canada, on behalf of our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, I would like to congratulate Mr. Paul Wynne uh, for truly exemplifying the ideals of Senator Yutzik and the spirit of the award bearing his name, and for contributing in such a pivotal way to our diverse and vibrant Canadian society. C'est un honneur d'être ici aujourd'hui en cette journée canadienne du multiculturalisme et d'applaudir ses réalisations. So in closing, I just want to say, to join with all of you in saying it's an honor to be here together. Look around this room and the amazing diversity that it reflects, the diversity of Canada. We have people of probably every conceivable major world religion in this room, people of uh, origins from dozens of countries around the world. And we are all here today, unified as Canadians, focused on building this country as a land of opportunity uh, for our children and grandchildren, and we want to thank Paul Wynne and all of the other nominees uh, who reflect what's best about this is a land of opportunity and of freedom. Thank you very much. Happy Multiculturalism Day. Thank you very much, Minister. And we'll ask you to just uh, take a seat on, on stage here while we watch a uh, video montage of, uh, which highlights the work of Mr. Paul Nguyen. Thank you. Behind the scenes of janefinch.com, there is a man, Paul Nguyen, who truly believes that there is more to say about his community than the usual stories of violence highlighted in the media. It is one of the most stigmatized neighborhoods in Canada. Bad rap or not, the area is often associated with poor housing, poverty, and crime. Paul's website was meant to shed some positive light on this neighborhood. Even though it's so diverse, but there's a common thread and everyone has a similar story. They're coming from humble roots, uh, either war-torn countries or they experience that underdog story element. So I mean that's how a lot of people, they band together because I mean they can relate to each other that way. That they know that they're, they're struggling here and they want to make a better life for themselves and for their future generations. As a man of action, Paul wanted to show the world that positive stories can bring down barriers and inspire others to seek out new opportunities. JaneFinch.com is a virtual hub of community news, activism, arts and media. Sur JaneFinch.com, Paul Nguyen a réussi le pari de donner à la communauté un lieu virtuel de rassemblement et de partage où les nouvelles parlent des aspects positifs de ses habitants et de leur réalisation. What started out as a single web page has turned into a crusade to change the area's image and to give youth a chance to express their views. The strongest aspect of the website is, is it's an outlet, it's a voice. And you know, coming from Jane and Finch, a lot of people here, they, are, they feel very powerless. And I think the website empowers them to, to express what they, what's on their mind, whether it's issues, problems, or aspirations, or talents. Over the years, artists and poets have showcased their work through the website as well as local hip-hop artists who have posted music videos. Paul has improved the perceptions of his community by producing a vast collection of broadcast quality video segments. 
He showcases events that take you right into the community to meet residents. It was his way of combating stereotypes. He is not alone. He's assembled a great team of volunteer journalists who have all shared his vision, knowledge, and awareness of issues are fundamental to create a better community in the Jane and Finch area. Wow, and it's great to see why Paul truly, truly deserves this award. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you. Um, but it is my pleasure right now to uh, ask Mr. Nguyen to please come up on stage to accept your award. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to join us in congratulating Mr. Paul Nguyen on being this year's recipient of the Paul Yudzik Award for Multiculturalism. Thank you very much. I have a short thing, I'll just read off of it. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. I would like to thank everyone for coming out today and showing their support on this wonderful, wonderful occasion. I would like to sincerely thank Minister Jason Kenney, his staff, and the good folks at Citizenship and Immigration Canada for their hard work and dedication to the promotion of Canada, its citizens, and its stories. I am truly honored and humbled by receiving this year's recognition as the Paul Yutzik Award recipient. I never had the fortune of meeting Mr. Yutzik, but upon researching his past, I can only hope to be worthy of this award in his name. I must also thank my parents for their commitment and dedication for giving me the opportunities that have allowed me to follow my dreams and pursue my goals. I must also acknowledge a man by the name of Robert Sargent. He was among many caring Canadians that welcomed the Vietnamese boat people to Canada after the war. He helped countless young Vietnamese families, including my mother and father, integrate into Canadian society. He offered knowledgeable guidance, compassionate care, and served as a loving father figure. We affectionately call him Uncle Bob. And although his skin is white, we do not regard him as anything else but a family member. Uncle Bob's efforts are a testament to Canadian values and beliefs. Because of his efforts, I have been privileged with the opportunity to carry on this tradition by contributing to my own community. Being recognized today will allow me to share Uncle Bob's story and many other heroic stories of multiculturalism to inspire future generations of Canadians, especially youth, to contribute to the betterment of Canada and its people. Multiculturalism is a defining aspect of Canadian life. Multiculturalism has allowed me to experience a rich and diverse upbringing for which I am thankful. I can proudly say that I have friends from a rainbow of colors and backgrounds. Although racial discrimination still exists in today's society, it can be eliminated simply by learning about each other. Being naturally shy, I was attracted to the internet as an outlet to connect with other people. I was fortunate enough to use social media to share multicultural truths by documenting everyday Canadians and their unique stories. Technology and the capacity to reach a massive audience is at everyone's fingertips. There simply needs to be a will and desire. There are so many untold stories of multicultural appreciation and understanding that we must preserve these stories for newcomers and future generations. It is evident in this room that there are many people vested in this important mission. Even though Uncle Bob is part of my family, there is still the occasional sh stare by curious onlookers when we hang out with him for dinner at a local restaurant. Some of these onlookers were probably wondering what the connection is or why is there a Vietnamese family sitting with a lone white gentleman at the table? I hope that the next time we dine out, the curiosity will cease to exist. In closing, 
I would like to acknowledge everyone here and thank you for supporting and celebrating this happy moment with me. I promise that I will continue to work hard towards engaging other people in the quest for multicultural harmony and understanding. You can say today's celebration is a result of what Uncle Bob did 30 years ago. For the Vietnamese newcomers, including my family, who came to Canada seeking a better life. I am truly proud to be a Vietnamese Canadian. Thank you. Now, thank you, Paul, and we greatly appreciate your work in promoting the values of multiculturalism in Canada, and congratulations once again on this wonderful achievement.